Yo, YouTube, check it out. Uh, this is my YouTube channel, uh, D. Dimitri. Um, I'm doing my duty and roaches today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, I got two colonies going. One colony I bought back in 2019, back in November. Um, and that colony flew. That's my first colony. That's the one that's in this clip, so I'm going to show you first. My second colony I did back in January 2020, this year, and the colony's doing pretty good too. So today, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I know I was, I kept hearing everybody on YouTube saying, don't keep letting your colony keep going incest. I don't know if that's true or not. Like and subscribe down below and tell me if that's true or not. Gotcha. Um, so today, I'm gonna put both colonies in this 35 turn on, hold on, turn on, turn on. in this 35 gallon sterilite and I'm going to put both colonies in it so um, I'm back um, and today I didn't do the normal hot glue uh, like I did on my second colony I didn't do hot glue I did Gorilla Tape I want y'all to see this so I did Gorilla Tape and trust me, like I said, my second colony back in uh, January 20, 2020, trust me, they haven't got out. Nothing gotten out. They don't even want size. And, but like I said, before that, hold on, hold on, before that, I put a little extra tape on the sides right here. They didn't even climb up the sides. So the tape is, I just wasted tape basically. But I'm doing Gorilla Glue, I mean Gorilla Tape. I put Gorilla Tape all around it um, and on this colony I did two wire mesh two one and then two so I got a double layer of wire mesh so even though I got grill tape all the way around and sticking on the wire mesh I'm gonna show you my second colony and you're gonna see the same lid or uh, a different lid but the same setup taping off um, I went and got more egg crates because I'm gonna look at these egg crates, see how bad they are, and I can change them out, throw those away, make sure I get all the babies off of it, all the nymphs, adults, I mean everything. And I got uh oh, and between my both my colonies, I got uh uh I guess it's called cadaver beetles or uh dumb beetles. What's it called? But anyway, <coughs> excuse me. But those beetles and the worms, the larvae, will eat the dead roaches in there, I'm trying to keep my colony clean. So with this setup, and you won't believe in my first setup, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the heater pad I had on it. On this setup, I'm gonna do it's 30 to 40 gallon use, but it's a long heat pad. Once I put it on the bottom of my tank, of my, uh, my sterilite, trust me, put it on one side, that's where it's the heat of that other side, that's where the food, the water crystals at, that's where they go at. And I got my regulator, so once I plug the heat pad into this, set my temperature, 79, 80, Right now, that's what my uh, my second colony is running, 79, 77. I guess depends on how cold it get in here, and the temperature will go up, or if it's hot, the temperature will go. I mean, if it's cold in here, you know, it's different, different temperatures. But like I say, right now it should be running at 79, but it could be 77 right now. But anyway, I'm also gonna put uh, banana baby food. Once they get settled, and I put baby food in there, um, I'm putting both of them in there because I'm putting two colonies. Usually I just do one uh, per uh, colony, and they will eat that basically by the day. Once I could, once I get home in the morning, once I feed the, the bearded dragon, I got three bearded dragons by the way. Look at the video. I got video. Go look at that down below. Um, I got three bearded dragons. Um, Two, ma two males, one female, 
Uh, both, all three of them, is in 40 gallon breeder tanks on one uh, rack system. And you can go back and look at the video and see that. And I got a new container. I was going to cut on one container, cut the hole out for the food. And the water crystals, I'm just going to try to scuff up the sides with some uh, sandpaper. Um, I can't do it today. I forgot my sandpaper when I left work. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut one out for food and scuff up one for the water so they can clam up the sides and get the water crystals. So now, I got a question for y'all. Um, how do you sort your Dubin Roaches? I got five buckets. I got five buckets. What I was told, if let me turn, hold on, let me turn you. Hold on. What I was told, if you got five buckets. You should have four different uh, drill bits. One should be in a half, three eighths, five sixteenths, and a one fourth. Right now, I'm looking, I don't have uh, three eighths, five sixteenths, and a one fourth. I need to get a half inch. I guess the half inch to let the adults sneak through or to keep the dots out and keep the adults nymph to go through, you know what I'm saying? And then the the nymphs, the babies, so forth, to go down. And then you got the frass, and anything that falls to the bottom of the bucket, be frass, and then babies. So that's what I got. My question to you, what drill bits do you use to sort your dubian roaches? That's my biggest question I need to ask YouTube, what do you use? Comment down below. Tell me what's going on. I'll put this away. Okay, now, um, let's see, I got the egg crates, I got my new heat pad, uh, my water, and my food system. Got this. Um, so now, I'll show you my first colony. Back up a little bit so you can see. Tilt it down a little bit. All right, this is my first colony. Yes, it's in the clear container, but guess what? They grew, they had sex, they bred, they ate like crazy. So now it's my time to clean my colony out, uh, make sure everybody's alive. Uh, whatever but like I said if you look at right here come close look at this the glue is coming on here look at the glue but I got two layers one and there's another layer on the bottom of wire mesh but all this was good so hold on I'll have to open it up for you so if you look there's no body, no roaches on the inside trying to get out. But, I'm gonna put this down. Now I told you how I did my, um, my baby food. When I tell you, when I put it in there, when I put it in there, let's say if I put it in today, it'd be gone before I wake up uh, later on this evening. But that, they cleaned it out. They cleaned it. They gut the baby food out. Trust me. It's all done. It's gone. So now, um, if you see the holes, they done chewed it. I'm going to pull up one. And you can see what I got. Mamas, daddies, babies. Uh, you got some cadaver beetles in there. You got some frass in there. If you look down in the bottom, you got some dead ones in there. Um, my water crystals right here, so I waited to let it, water crystals, the water crystals die out a little bit, let it 
dry a little bit but trust me um, I'm gonna pull this one up so this is my first call and you can see how I had 40 females 20 males and this is what I got they growing like crazy um, I'm gonna pull this one up oh look at the egg crates are falling apart yeah it's time so I mean like I look at that they growing like crazy so here go another one I mean adults, the males, turn around. You got babies. I'm gonna go to the front, I'm gonna go to the front of where the food be at. I mean, you got adults, you got nymphs, you got fries. So what I'm gonna do now, uh, I'm thinking I wanna do it in the bucket first. Get the fries and get the separated. But hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can I wanna do. What, what I wanna do here. Um, I think I should just go ahead and just dump them in there. Just knock them off and dump them in there. And that just one hit right there, that just one hit of knocking off. But like I said, I got a tons of way to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep knocking off so I don't have any music to play, but um, I'm getting there. Uh, once I get my another computer, uh, I'll be able to edit everything out and play some music, fast forward, and then while I knock all these off. Bear with me, please. Alright, so like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and knock all these off right quick. Just bear with me, okay? My bad, guys. Um, I got all the frads off. All right. I see you hanging in there. Come on, Beetle. Come on, baby. Y'all got to go. Come on. Go home to your mom and daddy. Yeah. These things are flimsy right here. They done had their weapon. They done. It's time for some new ones, yo.
It don't hurt them, by the way, so. It's okay. I'm just knocking them off. Make sure I ain't got no more, uh, little babies or beetles on there. Stacking them off to the sides. Um, I can guarantee and say they don't tow this cardboard up, boy. This uh, egg crates up. I got tons of dead ones in there, boy. A lot of frags, boy. They've been eating and pooping a lot. They've been pooping, boy. Look at all that frags in there. And they say fresh is good for your garden and everything. Um, look at that. Look at that. Again. Again, this is just my first colony, so like I said, I told you, it's going to be a lot. Um, I didn't feed any off from this colony. What I did do, I did feed some off my second colony, but look at that white one right there. He molten. About to change. Again, like I said, this one think was, was 40 or 20 females and then 10 males or was it 40 females and 20 males. But when I show you the, the footage in a few minutes, you're going to look like no way, no way. But trust me, I mean, I got babies. And like I said, this is my first colony. You can look at all the babies and the, the males and the females in here. And, and I guess, uh, like, and they say the female can have 20 to 30, 30 babies a month. So, with that being said, I mean, I'm looking at a lot of babies from what like I said November and I cleaned it once uh, I think I think January 20th but look at all the frass look at all the dead males and females in here and all the I mean gosh I mean, and then the water damage on it, I mean. I mean, they've been eating good now, I mean, trust me. I mean, the dragons been eating it. I might have a respirator, but you can look, look at that. Look at that, look at my arm. I need to have a respirator on.
I got my fan blowing, so I'm trying to blow it away from me. But I mean, I should have took it outside, but I didn't want to go outside and have the the heat. It's the sun's pretty out good. The sun is pretty good now, and everybody on my business looking and being nosy. But yeah, like I said, anyway. down to the wire people so now I said that when I throw a cup in there trust me I'm telling you they would gobble it all up these are cups empty cups of banana baby food So now, my my hard thing is, I gotta go through and get my adults out of here and put in there. Um, but right now, I'm gonna show you. Uh, look at that, right there. That's my first colony right there. All the males, the females. The babies on the bottom. Look at that. That's just my first colony. So now I'm fit to combine first colony, second colony, and put them all together. Sorry for had to move the camera around. But um I'm gonna come back and get uh all my males and females out of here and then I'm gonna show you put that to the side Okay. All right, I'm back. So now I told you, um, with this setup, I had my heat, uh, my heat pad on. It was telling me what kind of temperature I had it going. I had it on 79. Um, heat pad on the bottom. And if you look, like I told you, this is my second colony. I had the gorilla tape on it, and you can see, like I said, if you look, I mean. I haven't dusted it, but I have kept the, uh, any bugs from getting inside, any bugs getting out. So, trust me, the gorilla tape do work. Um, I'm going to open it up. Oh, how did you get up there? Oh, you clamped the wire. Okay, so now, how he got up, he clamped, hold on, turn on, let How he got up. He clamped this wire right here. Um, so I'm, my thinking, my next step is, I'm thinking I should be able to put my probe. Think of my probe right here. Put my probe, cut a hole through it, and probably put some uh, glue or something, and put it through the sterilite, so they don't work, uh, clam up the, the wire. So, okay, I got it. I'm thinking now. But, like I said, I got tape on the side, so they can't clam up the tape. And the only way he could got up, or she could have got up, was from that wire. Clam the wire and got on top of uh, the wire mesh. But they couldn't get out. I got uh, uh, Gorilla Glue. I mean, Gorilla Tape. I keep saying glue. Gorilla Tape on this side. Wire mesh on this side. Another wire mesh on that side with Gorilla Tape on that side. So now, here's my next step. I'm going to go ahead and get these out and 
This is my second colony. It's growing. What's that? What is that? Hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and knock these in with the other ones. So I can have me a bigger column. So again, we're in North Carolina. Trust me, if they get out, I mean, they won't survive. You gotta have a male and female to survive. You gotta have a good heat source, constant food, water crystals. If you don't have all three, well, actually, if you don't have heat, a male or a female, water crystals or food, all four, key ponies. They will die. Trust me. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish knocking the rest of these off. So like I said, I don't have any music right now to edit. But these egg crates are good and solid. So now they fit a merge. So I might use these again. I might use these again. These are pretty good. They have not eight to these so I might use these later on. So I think I might use these later on. But the other ones, oh okay well I can't say that because they didn't chew it on these. They got holes. But look, look at that. Second colony. And remember now, they cannot fly, but they can glide. So if they get out, they cannot fly onto your walls. They can glide from here to the floor. That's it. I mean, smooth surfaces, they really can't climb. So that's why everybody keeps saying, get sterile lights. Or get you an aquarium, glass aquarium, because I was told to the same thing. They can't climb glass. I just use the extra tape for extra caution. I haven't had anybody get out, but as you just seen a few minutes ago, that female climbed my cable uh, from the heat proof up. That's the only way she got a way to get up to the top. And she couldn't get out, so I wouldn't worry about that. And then again, like I said, I'm knocking it, these off into this container. And if you look, oh shoot. And if you notice, I got this container tilted to the side. So it's like leaning to the side as I'm knocking it. Nobody clammed up to the top yet. They can't clamp to the top. And you just see them, they all down at the bottom. They trying to get up, they trying to get up, but they can't. Let me see if I get my flashlight. You can see something there. All right. I got my flashlight. So I'm going to show you right quick. Hold on. And you can see where I've been knocking all the dust, the frass on the sides of the uh, sterile light. But if you look down, 
you see all the adults, the nymphs, the babies, everybody. And this not even, I'm not even finished yet. So, trust me, I got enough males, enough females in here to keep going. Every, every female can do 20 to 30 babies every month. As long as they got enough food, enough water, enough heat, they will keep going. So, trust me. I'm going to back up a little bit, put this to the side, and I keep going. Let's see, right there. I'll keep it down right there. Okay, all right. And I still got more cartons in here to finish. This one feel heavy. This one feel heavy. Look, look. That's heavy. Just give a good whack, get them off, they fall down, you keep going. So, I mean, one of my dragons see me, they must see what I'm doing or they see as I'm lifting up the roaches from that, I guess what, five feet away. They looking, they looking, they look, they see the roaches. They are older dragons, uh, about two years, and one's about a year and a half. I think the top one is about a year and a half. The two bottom ones about two years. Um, the one on the bottom is more like a female. Uh, gets to the way uh, she's a fat one. Uh, she didn't have any uh, spurs. I guess on the bottom of her legs, there's no. Uh, I haven't did the flashlight test, so. But. And then the top one, he's a quiet male. But yeah, that's what I got so far. Um, oh, I got a lot of dead ones in here too. I said they eating good. They eating good. They breathing good. They drinking good. Um, I also did some. I also put some uh, uh, like tangerines, clementines in it. They love that too. Um, anything citrus, they will gobble that up. Um, so I know when I do that, I put citrus or that banana baby food. Trust me, they gonna gobble that up. Um, let's see. Uh, my roast chow. I get my roast chow from a friend. Um, he hasn't established his uh, site yet, but he gobbles it up. I mean, I get it from him, and I try to duplicate it, but can't do it, but I try to do it, but as far as the oats, the uh, wheat, wheat, uh, no, wheat crackers, or the, what's it called, like, Trisket, uh, oats, uh, wheat bran, uh, or something else, uh, bee pollen, I mean, Try to keep it simple when you're feeding them, but like I said, they will eat it, gobble it up. I have to do this one with. 
that A3. Um, like I said, now I got a lot of frass in this. I got a lot of males, females, a lot playing dead, but then I got a lot of dead ones in here too. So I'm gonna go have to today uh, before I go to sleep. I work third shift today. I mean, I just came from third shift tonight. I'm gonna have to drill some kind of holes to try to separate the fries, the adult nips from what I got in here and get them back into this big old sterilite and then pick out the dead ones. Anybody still alive, throw them in this container. The fries, I'll probably go ahead and take that and get that to the side and then probably put it in one of my flower pots outside or put it next to my elephant ears. I got two um, big old things, elephant ears outside. I just go ahead and put that with that before they die off uh, this late winter, before they die off. And they go into like the cocoon state. So I just go ahead and put some frash down in there, keep them uh, fertilized. Throw some uh, mulch over it, keep them good until next year when they come back up and scream. But yeah, so that's what I'm thinking about right now. Um, clean these up, get these cleaned out, out the way. Make sure no roaches on them, no uh, beetles, larvae, get them out the way. Throw my old toilet paper uh, rolls. <laughs> um, so now I'm gonna get my flashlight. If you can look down in here. You can see I got a bunch of live ones still going. And I don't know if you can see the beetles or the larvae, but they in here somewhere in the frass. Um, but you see a lot of live ones in here. So once I think about, hey, I got a, 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 war, a super worm beetle in here. How'd I get that beetle in here? 